All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of No Money Spent. In the last uh, video, we uh, we went through some pain in Markstrom. We've got to figure out what to do about Markstrom because he's absolutely god-awful. Uh, but we'll deal with that uh, and take a look at the rewards from Rivals and Champs. So I was able to get, even though I was away and or I was really, really sick this week, I was able to get, I think, I think we grinded out 11 wins. I'm going to be sure here. I didn't even look. I believe we grinded out 11 wins last week in Champs, which is perfect because we still have a million things to upgrade. We're in that power-up collectible crunch. We did. We went 11 and 6. Let's go. We didn't even play the last game. All right, perfect. All right, so we got some unopened packs. We'll go through these, and then we've got Rivals at 5 today. We're recording this before Rivals, so we'll open up the Jumbo Premium, see what we got here. Uh, we need... Team Builders came out, and uh, I started... Thank God, I yesterday I started going through making my second Team Builder because, I don't know, I just wanted to get it done. I didn't think Team Builders were coming until January, but here we are, and um, we're close to making a second one, so we'll be able to get one of the 92s. I'm going to have to go through my line. Oh, nice, Caprice up. We'll take that. I think I also need to finish off Uyghur, so... That'll be uh, that'll be pretty big. Just because, um, for anyone, we'll go over the no money spent team. But your forwards are always gonna be more important than your defensemen. Like it's always gonna be more important to have forwards than a defenseman. Obviously, at some point, your defensemen, depending on your lineup, are very important. But it's gonna be one of the forwards I'm gonna go with. And it, I, I talked about this a little bit in the video going over all the team builders that Beagle is probably the best one just because of like longevity and he's easily the, like one of the best centers in the game for quite some time just because he's huge, very fast, got quick draw, and he has big tipper, which I enjoy. I don't know. I, I went with Gary Roberts over Bertuzzi. Part of me wants to go and get Bertuzzi because I don't have him on my other team. I'm going to lose Keith Kachuk. So it, having a left hand a winger, I'm going to lose him no matter what, no matter who the second team builder we make is. So maybe we do go with Bertuzzi and just, you know, roll the dice and see what, what, uh, how he plays compared to, to Robertson. But I also need a center, man. Like, uh, you know, Zabinichat is good and Kapanen's okay, but like, I wouldn't mind having one of like the elite centermen. Uh, we also need to get Uyghur up. I just got that 85 and we've got some power collectibles to use. Uh, here is the play that we're going to have to do here. 50,000 coins would get me up to 88 and with the two collectibles that'll get him up to 95 it doesn't un i don't believe it unlocks oh it does it unlocks fly his zone so i don't really have to go to his 89 just yet because he doesn't get another speed anything and he unlocks puck on a string so that's probably the play there and mcdavid i also have to get up to 90 um and that's gonna be my other three collectibles so that right there kind of consumes all of my power collectibles that i just got but i don't really have any other thing that i need really uh, with my power of collectibles other than Scott Niedemeyer. So that's what we're going to go do for the no money spent team. We're going to go ahead here and oh, I've got to cash them in. So we're going to cash them in and then uh, we'll do the upgrades. All right, so we went and cashed them in and uh, now let's go ahead and upgrade Barzal. So we'll get him to his 88. Got to go back to the inbox because things just can't automatically go places in EA Sports NHL 22, 23 Hockey Ultimate. Nah, it's 22. Let's, let's be real there. All right, now I got to go through a million other arbitrary windows and just completely disrupt the entire video. And there we go. All right, they're all there. I'm certain of it now. Let's go and upgrade Barzal. Let's get it together. Lock it up. We're going to go to, yep. Here we go. And okay, we're ready. All right, so here we go. Sorry about that. Got four more because we actually got the tier reward. We must have got the tier reward from finishing up uh, finishing up the uh, win streak reward. Bang. Now we've got a 97 speed Matthew Barzal with gold elite edges, which is one of the best cards in the game still. And then lastly, we will go like this and use the other three that we've got here. Upgrade him to 90. Excellent. So now we've got two of the better cards in the game on the no money sent team. We don't use Magician. Do we use Protector? We do use Protector. So we'll go like that and put Protector on. Got to leave Thief on for this team. We might actually... Man, part of me wants to put... Vinjad was a decent centerman because of his size and everything, but his faceoff rating is only 83 or 87, but that's fine. And we've got Kapitan, who I have not really liked. Keith Kachuk. I'm, I'm going to be sad to lose Keith Kachuk on this team because Keith Kachuk has been one of my best cards. Um, one of the one of the best cards I've used all year, if I'm being, if I'm being real. And then lastly, we've got to go make a couple more uh event collectibles and by a couple i mean a bunch so we need to make at least four more to get him to his 88 and then his 89 so i'm looking at 10 more so we'll go cash in those rewards i believe we've got an 85 caprizov so we get a couple at least we'll see how many more i have in my collection and then uh yeah we'll talk on team builders um because well we got kachuk and i'm really close on a bunch of i haven't put them all in here but i'm, I'm very close on where are they where is he there we go. 
We've got three more to do. So we've got the Bolts, the Senators, and the Panthers. So after the Rivals event, or the Rivals rewards, hopefully I'll get enough or be very close to getting those done. I'll get Jokinen, and then I'm going to trade him in for probably Bertuzzi, simply because um, on, this, uh, on this squad, I like to take cards so that I can, you know, different cards that I wouldn't normally take and uh, try out different cards. I don't have Bertuzzi on the God Squad yet, so that is probably what I'm going to do. I don't think I'd recommend it for you guys, though. I just don't think he's the most valuable one, and I've completely lost my train of thought. All right, now let's go all the way back down here, and we've got an 85 to trade in. There we go. And Oh, we got to get rid of Markstrom. We got to find another goalie. That's the problem. That's the issue. We're gonna, we got to find another goalie. Oh, man. That, that goal in the last episode was honestly one of the worst goals I've ever seen. An unscreened wrister from the point where the goalie is challenging the shot. Stunning. We've got Larkin we can throw in there, so that's not going to work. Am I going to be able to get enough? Do I have any 83s? This is the issue we kind of ran into. I don't think I have any 83s either, so we might have to wait. We have Swayman, and we've got... Yeah, it's not going to work because we're going to have to buy them right now. All right, so we'll wait for Rivals Rewards, and then we'll upgrade Uyghur. Uh, but right now, what we can go do is go jump into... Let's get that done. There goes that. I'm also very... Oh, I'm also very close. I'm pretty sure to um, getting the spreadsheet hockey. Yeah, I'm a couple games away, and I threw some extra couple, um, spreadsheet hockey cards in my lineup. Uh, should be able to get that those extra two. That'll actually be pretty useful in terms of values. All right, let's get into our first Hut Champs game of the week and see if we can start out well on the uh, grind to 11 wins. Because I, my closest server is Quebec, but I'm Southern Ontario, so I'm far enough away to get um, to to get about 20 ping, which isn't bad at all. 20 ping is great. The problem is, is that Quebec players get about two, um, and they're also very, very good at the game. So you combine those things, and it's just uh, an awful Markstrom. I forgot. Okay, boys, we cannot allow a shot on goal. I forgot Markstrom. He's getting one more game. Oh, Kachuk's only got a few left, and he feels sluggish. Just kidding. I mean, he's still the GOAT. Let's go. That's it. See you later. Kachuk, let's go. And that's how you start out hot champs on no money spent. The not a dollars are 1-0. and oh. Ah, I disagree there, man. That's going to end up in my net. Markstrom, you're, that, that game doesn't count, man. He quit out. You're on a game-by-game -game basis here. Oh, Barzal is just so good. Oh, wow. I thought, that, I thought I'd have that. I've also stopped, like, pressing R1 at all and just going for bumps. Like, again, I, I don't know what it is, but I've really not been able to... Po-checking is so inconsistent for me that, like, I just stopped doing it. I'm either giving up breakaways. Oh, what a play. Okay. What a save. We'll take it, though. That was a force, but I thought it was covered. Nice. Let's go, Thompson. This 85 Thompson is still, like, one of the better cards. Uh, you just need to have Unstoppable Force on, and I, I don't know. I... I can't just commit, man. I have that overall, like, lock in my head where, like, if he's not, like, a 90, I'm like, oh, I gotta get rid of him. He's not good enough. Yeah. Let's go! There it is! Barzell! All right. Dominant first period. Here we go. Markstrom literally gives me a heart attack any anytime a shot goes near him. All right. Good period there. Yeah, dominant. We had four minutes, four and a half minutes to a minute and a half. Double his shots. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Hey, when you, like, just dance around with somebody when they're, like, curling like that, you just gotta bump them, but you're stuck to just holding R1. Oh, man, I thought Addison had a beauty. Still using that 88 free Addison, which is still by far the best fantasy hockey card to have. I still probably wouldn't do that set if you had a God Squad, though. Let's go. Power play. Bang! There he is! Okay, what a shot! God, that's an awful mustache. Look at that thing. Good lord. Terrible. Good intercept there. Let's go, Pasta. Oh, get that over. I should have just sauced that into the middle there. Let's go, McCann. Nice intercept. Back door. Yep, let's go. All right, we're playing well off the turnovers. 
Big save again. All right, that one trickled out in front. That's my own fault. All right, we need to clean it up in our own zone. That was like seven turnovers in a row. Oh, man. Oh, okay, thank you. All right, we want to flex on him. That was probably stupid. That doesn't matter. Let's go. There it is. All right, went for the Datsun flip. That didn't land. Well, we bang it out anyways. He's nervous. Tip it. Let's go! Big tipper! There it is. That's why we got him. He stopped moving. Like, if I, like I, that's all I try to do is set up tip plays. And for the most part, I'm pretty good at it. But I find it so satisfying. Because it's not a, gl it's not a glitch goal. It's not behind the net stupidity. It, it's, real thing. it's a real thing that's in hockey. Let's go. We are buzzing. <laughs> we go the other way and score. Oh, man. There it is. The fourth line gets on the board. <laughs> Yo, I love it. Dude, it even makes like a slap shot sound. I love how EA... Okay, we got to make a noise whenever the X Factor ability goes off. Okay, let's just make it sound like a slap shot. That's two big tipper goals for Oliver Cabinet. Maybe, yeah, he's making a... He's making a real push here. He might be the one C now. You know? Although Zabinijad's been playing great, so I don't know. I'm still sick, so I apologize for the sniffles. Man, it is what it is. We haven't seen a lot of Barzal. That's not a lot out of him. He is down and out. Nice goal. I mean, I, I, you got to call a spade a spade here. He's been great. There's still time, though. Slavin, time for one more. Nope. Oh. Okay. Capitan with a couple of great tips, too. Nice goal. Ugh. All right, this one's going to be tough. Let's go! There it is! Dude, Byram. I haven't seen a Byram sighting in a little while, I don't think. Nah, I missed the hit. It's probably going to be a wrap. Let's see if we can bump him. We can't. There's no point. So guys like this that just want to legitimately move their stick constantly and never sit still, I'm legit just going to let them skate around. There's no point in trying to bump and like go for like poach checks and things like that, guys. You're just not getting the puck back, so... Penalty's over. Nice. Wow, nice. Is that a really nice move? Uh, he overpasses a lot, so we're just going to, like I said, just relax. Oh, just got a piece of that. Let's go. Does he even get a penalty? Oh, maybe? Oh. All right. Yeah, he's going to dominate TOA. He can have it, man. He's just wanted to dance and move... That's all you can do against guys like these. Oh, man. I'm literally on him. Wow, okay. Let's go, man. Tons of fight here, boys. Get it right back again. Try to, that was a stupid play. I should have forced a pass, to be honest with you. Yep. He's been going, he just goes far side every single time. So if you just go to where eventually he's going to go, you get a bit of a shot to stop. He's going to go back door. Okay. Oh, I sauced it. He stick, man. That's nuts. I sauced that over. I would have had him all alone in front there. Unfortunate. I, I don't understand that. I don't know how I didn't get the puck back from him there. And I just gave a goal. That's unfortunate, man. He's not even looking, man. His guys aren't even looking. That's why I'm sending it there. Ah, man. I can't get a breakout to go across. Let's go, Barzal! Yes, sir! Okay. 
Okay, we stuck with that one. Let's go, man. Dude, let's go, man. <laughs> this kid wants it. I don't know why I didn't did that. Middle guy, middle guy. Hit this guy right here. I know you want to. Come on. Yeah. Oh, man. Why did you go over that dive there, dude? Let's go over this backdoor guy, number 13. Nah. I'm fucked. I can't get it into the zone cleanly. It's going to go back. Oh, dude. Brutal, man. Bad. Man, I don't know why I'm shooting. I should have just played for the possession. It's a great goal, man. I mean, dude, I needed to have one of those seven opportunities at the beginning of the game. Or a beginning of overtime. Yeah, one of those needed to go in. Oh, well, man. It's a good game, nonetheless. Extremely well. And uh, we started out 2-1. and one, So, not bad. We're, we're going to open up Rivals in the next episode of the No Money Spent. Thank you guys again for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.